today we are continuing the demo of this. We are gonna completely remodel my hunting cabin. This stuff has got to go. So is it good if there's burn marks on the insulation from the wires or? I definitely should not have slept in this place. The question is, could we have just like built one for cheaper? Or? I'll see you in the way Probably. Hey, 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 Chris, Chris. Precisely, yeah. we found some mold let me show you some mold look what we got dangling here so we got all the paneling done everything in here we ran out of room in the dump trailer uh, and we're gonna turn it from rags to riches or something <laughs> This is what it looks like. Look how clean. I mean, we got her, we got her done, did up the way we need it. Shoo! Alrighty, folks. We. Oh my God, that's a spider, bro. Holy. Oh, oh. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't like spiders. No. Do you? <laughs> I don't like spiders. Dude. Yo. That's, that game? might be one of the biggest spiders I've, I've never seen. seen a spider that big Dude, that is. You gonna pick him up or no? No. <laughs> what? You gonna pick him He's up? He's got fangs on it. Oh god, yeah. He'll bite the heck out of you. Might that's that's probably one of the biggest spiders I've ever seen around here. I don't know how I just noticed. I just looked and I just noticed that. What is that? A wolf spider or what probably, is? Probably. I don't know. They bite or no? Nah, they can. Dude, I think you need a bird. That is a monster, huh? Do you have to power? Yeah. Uh, oh, power? No. Okay. I'll, I'll go. Do, I'll go work on. I'll go do that. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's okay. No, we're, we're talking to a spider, so it's all good. It's yeah, a yeah, yeah, spider yeah. down here. All right, we'll let, we'll let that spider do his thing. But um, we got plumber out here, Aaron. He's out here digging. We have to move a water line. Lots of stuff happening today. I gotta see if I can shut off power. So here's the plan today. We are going to be demolishing, literally, the addition. So right on the other side of that excavator there, you can see. The original building and then the addition that was where the yellow uh, insulation was in there it was all moldy that's where we had like the game room that's where we had the tv the recliners you guys remember all that so we're ripping it out we are clearing it out getting it's got the concrete floor um i'll we'll go inside and show you we're gonna rip it out my big excavator is finally back it took like two months to get a new bucket a thumb fix some repairs that i made well fix the you yeah, i broke it anyways it's coming back today, hopefully. Chad the Dirt Guy, his crew is going to come down and drop it off. So once that's here, we're hopefully going to use that to knock out the, the addition that we got there. And the goal is today to get everything prepped and ready. We are going to be bringing in the framers that are framing my house, uh, you know, the house that we're building. And we convinced them to come out and... I don't know if it's cut, but it's off. We convinced them to come out and frame up the addition um, with us so we had more help. You know, beefcake construction, I mean, oh, it's raining. Isn't bad, we could do it, but you're talking about these guys should be able to frame in like the entire addition in like a day. Us, it'd probably be a week, probably be a little crooked, wouldn't be great. So we're gonna, beefcake construction is gonna merge with <clears throat> an actual construction company, Brad's construction company for that matter, and uh, kind of come out, but that won't be today's video. You'll see that in the next one. Today, it's our job to demo. Cause I was like, I'm not gonna pay these guys to demo. We wanna be paying them to be doing, you know, the work, the skilled labor jobs, the stuff that I am not good at. I can demolish a lot of things. I may not be good at it, but I can do it. So instead of, cause they were like, well, we can demo the addition, come out here with chainsaws. I'm like, well, I have an excavator. And they're like, oh, that might, that might go a little bit faster. Um, so yeah, we're digging that up. So there's a shut off. That little rod right there is a shut off for the water. We're getting, we're, we have to move that because the addition is going to be on top of that. 
I'll show you guys inside. We had an electrician come out last week off camera and he didn't do a lot, but he did some. How's this hey, look? This looks good. Yeah, we got, got new, new Romex pulled, ready to go. It's, it's roughly pulled. It's just, it's getting, getting to where you need it to be. Uh, and then remember this power box? Boom, they mounted it right there. And this window's going, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, remove the window. So new power box, ready to go. They got the Romex running from it. You know, like new, already new receptacles here. And so the layout, you guys need to go check out Brad's channel to see like the official layout. He's doing all the design work, but and he's been right on the floor. Yeah, it's, a, it's all, it's all here. So you're gonna have HVAC and hot water here. You're gonna have cabinets here, walkway here. And then this is gonna be an island cook, cooktop. So when I'm cooking, I'll be standing actually over the old pooper like this chef here. Hey, let's give him the yeah, old PV. So I'm over here like, whoosh, fry. Oh, Banjo goes, mmm, mm, before it even hits his mouth. So that's going to happen right here. Behind here will be cabinets, little pantry area, and this will be the wall. So this will be like the walkway kind of here. And like I said, this will be a big island that comes out. Over here, sink, okay, countertop with a dishwasher. Yeah, we're fancy. Dishwasher. Oh, I didn't know we were getting a dishwasher. Oh, God, yeah, I'm, ti I'm tired of doing dishes. Really? been doing that too long, yeah. Microwave and a refrigerator. So this is going to be one long countertop. With the sink, I'm thinking you got to clean stuff. You come over here, you got your big countertop, you lay out you know, your back straps, you do this. You clean, this is your cleaning area, and then you take everything to your cooking area. And they're kind of, they're not separate, they're this far apart. Let's yeah. be honest, we're in a mobile home right now. But, um, so, because we originally were like, we could put the sink here. I'm like, things with the sink, like, sometimes you use the sink when you're cooking, but most of the time, you're cooking. We like how we do it. We prep everything. It's like a Food Network show. You have all your ingredients. Everything's laid out. So this could be like the destruction zone. And then this is like, all right, bring your spices and set it here. So this will look nice and good for video. So you'd be sitting here, ready to cook, having all your spices, and then just a back countertop. So same thing. So we got like spices here. So this is cooking. That's prepping. And then once you're done cooking, you just take everything over set it in the sink or the dishwasher and you have a clean surface to continue cooking so you do the dishes at the end rather than like in the garage right now to do to get more dishes out you have to clean what you have and it's like you got it so uh back here this is the bedroom same thing no different uh we have a bunk bed here and a bunk bed here window right in the middle that's no closet now no closet knock the closet out um so that's that's what's gonna be here like i said we're on an hvac so we're gonna actually actually have heat and air so it's gonna be comfortable this is gonna be the living room still uh, or dining room I should say dining table no different than before this wall cut it half blow the rest of it out so you can sit here a little bar top eat watch TV and the TV is gonna be over here this is the room we're getting rid of right over here Wow someone left the AC on in here oh God. it's cold it's great yeah, yeah. Uh, so this room's going we're demolishing this today but it's gonna be, we're demolishing it to build the same thing. I know you guys are thinking, Flair, why are you doing that? Because it's filled with mold and I'm not trying to die, okay? We gotta redo it, do it right, but same idea. So you're, right here, you're gonna have a half wall. So the wall will be like this, open, bar top looking in, have like an L-shaped couch, keep the window. Then on this side, you have the TV right here. And then over here, you're, we're gonna take this addition and multiply it by two, build another one right next to it, combine it, put it in a doorway and you're gonna have a bathroom where you're gonna have a shower, a toilet sink, and we're actually putting in a mud room with a sliding glass door on this side, which is the back side. So if you're all dirty, you don't come in the main room and walk straight into the kitchen with your muddy boots, not allowed. You come through the back, put a sliding glass door because Brad has them for free anyway, so why not use them? And come through, go through the mud room and then the bathroom's right there. And then there's gonna be a master but a bigger bedroom that also has access to the bathroom, like a Jack and Jill strat. So that way, if I do want to bring Macy down, she's at least comfortable. She's got, you know, a bigger be bedroom that is attached to the bathroom. So it's more, it's just more comfortable that way. So you'd be able to sleep, you know, at least a couple people in the master, and then you would have four people sleeping in the bunk room. And then this will be a pullout couch. I mean, like, let's say I have like 27 people over here. We should be able to fit everybody. So that's the design idea. But like I said, you guys are gonna have to go check out Brad's channel to see all of that and how it's like literally designed up. But today, this room, all this has got to go. We have to figure out how this addition is attached to this. This is, we don't wanna move this yet. This is supposed to stay. This is part of the cabin. 
but we gotta figure out how the addition is tacked to this. And if I take the excavator and rip the addition, will this wall come with it? Because that would not be good for anybody. So anyways, we're gonna start taking off ceiling fans, making sure the, the power is cut, which it's not, because that thing's running. Cut all the power so we can basically, this whole room, by the time we're done with today's episode, there's just gonna be a concrete pad, and we're gonna be looking up at the clouds. You guys stay tuned. All right, moving on. This is our work to area. Now it's gonna be outside. So we gotta take all the tools. For now, we'll just stick them in here. That way they're easy to get to. But we gotta empty, empty the addition. But you're wondering why we're not keeping it. It's mold. I mean, there's even, it's even worse over here. Mold everywhere, which is not good for anybody. So we're gonna get all this cleared out. And hopefully the excavator, the mini would probably do it, but the big excavator would look cooler. So I think that's what we're, we're gonna plan on is the big excavator, but we like, so we gotta figure out how to, oh, hey, how's it going? We gotta figure out how to disconnect the two without ripping down the whole structure. It may not be that bad. It may just be some screws or whatever, or it could just be some giant freaking carriage bolts, lag bolts or ledger screws or something that's just like, Overkill. You never know. You know. You don't know where these guys put their efforts because it wasn't much, but there's little things that they went crazy with. So we just don't want to rip down the whole structure all at once if we can help it. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I can't wait for the. Flair's just heavy breathing in this episode. All I hear is Flair heavy breathing. Although, yes, you're right, I am heavy breathing. There's also a microphone pointed down, okay? Next to your face. Right next to my freaking face. It's like, yes, I tend to breathe heavy when I lift, lifting heavy objects walking around in 100 degrees. It happens, people, it happens. I don't know what to tell you. I went fast. Should we pinch the fire extinguisher with the excavator claw and see what happens? Sure. Give her the old boom. We might need that fire extinguisher. Yeah, sure. So the power's cut. Is there any Romex in here connected to the breaker? So when like the, you know what I mean? Like it gives, uh, the, old, gives the old rip. It's that gray wire. Where does it, where does oh, it cut? Yeah, it comes into there. So as long as that's cut, it's we're, cut. we're fine. Then, I, then we're not. The whole addition can go. Yeah, then we're good. It just came in. That's a, oh no, that's not a new box. We're good. That, that's what ran through the loft, I'm pretty sure, wasn't it? Really? I don't see it come through over here. Oh, maybe not. Where does that go? I don't see it up there anywhere. It might have pulled it out, too. It yeah, should. true. All right, what about the old ceiling fan? It's a new fan, so I don't really want to destroy yeah, that. You mean, bring, you mean bring the old ladder in here? Yeah, uh, well, you got, there's a that little step one, or do you want this guy? A uh, little step one, probably do it. I think that'll work. So if I was to, should we, I don't really want to do too much work here, but how do we figure out the strength that this thing is tied to? Pop that trim board off, maybe? Yeah. All right, I'll work, I'll work on that. I'll work on that. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, here's the plans. Look what we got going on here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's pretty neat. Oh, this is an, this is an old one. Well, it's actually it's not that old. That's actually no, this is a new one. No, this is it. Pretty close. A few changes, but pretty pretty similar. So that's that's that. We can go over that. We can go over that later if you guys want to see more of it. But if you want to grab, yeah. Oh, you already look at you, Nate. You're on it. He says I'll get the old crowbar. We're gonna need it. Oh, watch something now. Oh, 
Pick no, I just hit the fan. I know my face was messed, man. That's fine. <laughs> so, I mean, we'll just open her up. How's it, how's it going? PTSD. Yeah, I know. There's <laughs> like three days of just this. Just two days of that sound. Yeah. Okay. okay, I can tell you they didn't do they didn't go crazy with the trim. If that's any any reflection on the main structure, we're, we're in business. <laughs> yeah, this thing must be a two by four. Let me see if I can. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right. I just felt the draft from that. It's. It might be a two by four, my guy. Really? I mean, there's just a. There's a two by something. Is this? The, is this the? Is this the outside of? The OG. The original? Yes. It's. This is it right here. See that piece of wood? Yeah. That's all there is. I'm sure they just screwed it in there. So I don't know. We might just be able to give her the old tuggy. I mean, we're gonna waste a lot of time doing this. Cut, cutting it. Just rip. It. Just try it. Yeah. I mean, if I give her a couple quick I mean, pulls. You know for a fact that, like, if you just punch through this wall, this wall is coming off. Yeah. And that wall's coming off. This wall can come off, and then the ceiling is gonna do like what the loft did. And then you just pull it off. Yeah, you can always cut it at that point, let the ceiling fall, expose all the nails, and then Try zip them. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. Whatever we break, Alex can fix. That's true. So we're bringing in the professionals. Yeah, I think we just start giving her a knock. Promise we need the excavator now. Yeah. Is it on its way? I don't know. Hope so. Okay, your set screw's loose. So the whole thing has to spin some which some direction here. This way? Uh, no, the whole, th that's spinning the, it's, that's spinning the whole thing. Um, how do you, so do you see these threads right there? Oh, yeah, I do. See what I mean? That's that screw there. I mean, you can loosen it up even more if you want, but it's almost like I need to hold, like if this thing was back up. Hang on, sorry. sorry. You're good. See, that thing, does that thing just, there, you got it. Yeah, 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 keep her going. Keep her doing it. You're doing it. Be uh, You're on fan catch, dude. Right. She goes, you're right. doing it. You're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> I mean, it you gotta is be smarter than the fan. You're almost there. You're almost there. Oh, what happened? No, keep going. Oh, no, it's twisting the whole thing now. Hang on now. Oh, I gotta pull like down. Yeah. And twist. Yep, yep. Yep. Yep, you're close. Oh, there it is. And, that, and now you take hey, you your drill. Hold her up here. Disconnect. Yep. First. Pull that through. This one. There, there you free. Set her. Take her. Take her down. And that's how you disconnect a fan, I think. Allegedly. I think. I never done it before. I put them up. I'm never taking them down. There's not. Not many people take them down. I don't think. That makes way more sense. <laughs> We're like, he had the 90 degree elbow. He must have. Sorry, you guys had to suffer through that. <laughs> he definitely had the just elbow attachment. Just like punching their computer <laughs> screen right now. You guys are idiots. All these professional fan installers. Oh god. Yeah. Fear is such a dumbass. You disconnect the wiring first. Now we're talking. That's it. All right. No more fan. No fan. Oh. Yeehaw, brother. Give her a tug. We still don't have an excavator. 
<laughs> Son of a... Pick this back up and we'll get the excavator. I don't see an excavator out there. We got the, we got the mini, but not the big... We need the big dog at some point. All right, you guys stay tuned. We got the old big shovel. The big shovel. The big, we got big shovel back. Look at that. Look bucket. at that thumb. That's a nice thumb. You like that? That's a big bucket. That's man. That's, we're, we're, that's a big upgrade. That's at least another foot on there. So here's the addition that needs to be taken care of. Uh, we also got one of these doohickeys. Watch yourself. Now. Sorry. So um, yeah. Oh, we got waters. That is that a problem there? Or no, he just cut that. That that goes to the house. Okay. Yeah. So that. We had the, the plumber, he dug this out with the mini. Uh, we hit the electrical line right there, but also, got the old tape. This one, that far underground. Oh. That runs to the shop. Oh, I like that. That's, yeah, yeah. you know, these guys, they put in, they, this was milk toast construction. I'm telling you, BK construction's even better than these guys. So that's, yeah, that's the power. I mean, yeah, like if I, if yeah, I, that, if that I just turned my track, it would just explode it. Yeah. The whole thing would have fried out. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. Well, the power shut off for that reason. He found this. We're redoing some of the plumbing because, again, this was the shutoff valve was there. We're going to pull it back because the new addition is going to come out from that corner to here and flush up with this one. But we got to get rid of this one. We're going to build a whole new one. So, like, this cabin's like a 12 by 34. We're about to add another 12 by 34. We're going to double the size of this cabin. Uh, so we got to move the electrical. Some stuff, it, it's way cheaper than, than building a barnuminium like we were talking about because you know how to get electrical down there and plumbing and, and all that stuff. So we're doing this. But this addition has got to go. This tree has also got to go. The problem is if this tree falls on this part of the cabin, no light, someone light a match. Cause it, it, so I, I, I mean, this is actually more serious than I'm probably even making it out to be. Cause if that tree falls on the cabin, we're, we're, we're screwed. Like you can't, you can't have that happen. We're so when you need I'm probably, well, here's I'm going to probably pull this thing up as tight up here as I can turn so I can push away from the cabin. We got to get it. And the pro there, there's like four trees. Don't, hopefully the hydraulics don't give out. Uh, there's like four trees in one. The other thing that we're gonna see what happens and it is interesting is the roots for sure run under this concrete. So here's your addition, right? Here's the seam. So from here over it's gotta go. Windows gotta go and there's concrete, all that's gotta go. But this, the, the root is under there. We were gonna leave the concrete floor and just build on top of it. But I think that root is gonna just Oh, there's ladders in there still. We probably should. Oh, I'll go move. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. We, I was like, I looked and I'm like, man, who's in there? Someone's, someone's getting the stuff. So we got to clear that out. But yeah, see, the, there's like four trees in one. I have to look at the, look how they did this. Why wouldn't they just cut this tree down when they put that addition on? Because you know this tree's older than the addition. These suckers. So I have to find a way to knock all these trees away from this cabin. If this gets crushed, that's okay. If this gets crushed, I will be crushed because all of our belongings are in there and that was supposed to be the cabin so essentially we're just going to copy this model just it's got to be new it's got to be new studs because it's all molded like yes could you sit there and patch and match and it's not worth it just redo it get it done right make sure it's sealed properly but man look at the shovel son Sheesh, big old shovel so i'm gonna start with the tree i'll probably just do one limb at a time knock it knock it so the last one is over there i'll try to get real nice and close blow the whole thing over and then we got to figure out how to tear this out without ripping down to the same thing the other cabin how is it attached we are looking at it we think there's just screws what i'll probably do is just pop those teeth through the roof give it a little tuggy and hopefully the whole thing doesn't just fall down like a house of cards that's the plan stay tuned
rodeo, rodeo action? I was standing by the back. That oh, was, that was good. you like that. So far, so good. trees I'll try to lay the one down and then we'll go after Big Sheila. Cabin move, it's picking up the entire cabin from the roof. It's just moving the addition though. Yeah. That concrete pad. Holy sh. <laughs> what do you do here? 
chainsaw. If it messes up the addition, it's whatever. We're replacing it anyway. That was the weirdest thing. <laughs> Mike, I'm like watching the bucket and also the whole cabin out of my peripherals. So just like, Mwah. just lift straight up. Yeah, I saw that. So, I mean, because we could chainsaw it. The tree? The tree. Just cut it off. I mean, how bad? Should I call Brad? Should, do we mess up the concrete? Does he care? Yeah, I guess ask. Hey, you didn't like this concrete on the addition, right? Uh, you can leave it there if you want, but if you okay. tear it out... Well, there's a, there, the, the tree is living under it, and uh, I attempted to move the tree, and it, at the same time, moved the addition, so... Uh, oh, okay. Well, take the concrete out, too. Take the concrete out, no big deal. And, I, and the, uh, the plumber would love to see if you got a skidster, or if you can take your... If you can dig it down, uh, maybe a foot or two underneath where the addition's going to go, but yeah. it gives us a Crawl space. A crawl space. Okay, so so getting rid of the concrete is not a bad idea. No, that's not bad. No, that will help us. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Thanks, yep. See you, buddy. He said it will help us. Really? Well, he's saying that we, he actually wants the dirt dug down to give us a bigger crawl space. Uh, so the concrete would just hurt that. Cut into that. I see. So do we just give her? What's Nate doing? Give her a foot. Look at the crazy. What do you think? I mean, that thing goes under. I, your dad said it'll help if we get the concrete out. Oh, I don't think we have a choice. Just do, yeah, yeah, we don't have a choice. <laughs> We're kind of tied right yeah, now. Yeah, we don't have a choice. I mean, why would you want to rebuild on top of a root? Like, yeah, even though it's not a tree, it'll decay over time. Yeah. The matter will break down, and then you'll it'll, yeah. Settle. It'll settle. All right. Just give her a push. Let's give her a push. I mean, do you think we could take the chainsaw and just cut it? Just, just, no, just like take it and just cut it. It doesn't have to go all the way through to where it kicks out. Just put a little perforated cut in so it. So she breaks off? So she breaks. I'll do it if no one else would do it. I'll, 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 I'll do it. Care. Tension from it first. Have it lean back on the house. That way it's just a normal standing tree. Where it was naturally, there's no as much tension. Then we could, we could do that. We'll see where I think, we'll see where it wants to lay. I was just leaving the bucket here because no matter what, I think you should leave it right there. I don't think there's much tension. Just, on the I base. mean, if you just if you cut a couple inches in, I don't think it's gonna, gonna snap. When you leave it, it should, yeah, it yeah. Should, it'll it'll just keep going. Yes. I just give it a little buzz. Yeah. Just give me something to work with. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's do let's do that. Good heavens. Why are we always doing stuff? Like why why we do this? I don't know. Why don't we always burn this thing? It's a lot better without the street here. I can tell you that much. Yeah. So I left the boom so it protects the cabin at the least. There's That's, no pressure on the there's tree. No, there, yeah, there's no pressure on the tree. I just have it resting up against it, which is good. Um, and so I think what we're going to attempt to do is the traditional wedge cut. Oh, there's a Pepsi can inside the tree. Really? Yeah. Wedge cut, like slice, slice, and then a slice from the back, and then I just pull. I just And it shouldn't be... Basically... Make it so my excavator's not trying to rip up the the roots. It's just trying to snap the tree in half. Yeah. Then we can and we can the and, and then dig, dig it out the roots. The roots. Yeah. 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 Like right here. Should work. Uh, hopefully. You guys go way over there. Okay. <laughs>
Good work, Junior. That's Woo! it. We got her. Beefcake tree clearing. Hire us. No, please don't. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the old wedge. Yeah, it's the old wedge cut. Yeah, that's usually what people do. Yeah, dude, you got it up your nose. Look at yeah. it. Hey, God, look at you. Look at that. That good stuff? You like yeah. that? Yeah, keep like doing some bad stuff. Yeah, or? hanging out with too many minions or something. Well, we got uh, we got her away from here. I mean, that's really what the goal was. We're on working this very hill. hard to protect this, and we're about to destroy it. And we're about to destroy it, yeah. But that's, I mean, that was, you can see how big that, good lord. Look where it was growing against the cabin. Oh, yeah, right there. Look at that. Wow. It was growing into the cabin. That was right on that corner, right there. So we did it. Oh, that was stressful, yeah. but... You're that you're supposed to cut trees down with wedge cuts and chainsaws. That was the proper way to do it. Um, way it's, safe, it's the safest way you can. I put a little pressure on it with the excavator just so it didn't fall on Jake or the cabin. As I heard it too. I heard a pop, and you gave me a thumbs up. Swing. So we had and, zero and kickback. No, no we kickback. It was safe. Yeah, I was watching your cut meeting the wedge, and that's why I was like, just keep going, because you, I, I like you went you went around it. Your side, and I felt it, it like touch through, and it yep. like doop. I was like, all right, we're good. Yep. Well, all right, so I gotta try to clean this up. Clean some of these trees up. I'll try to, I need to really get my excavator flipped the other way now, but um, I mean, I could technically tear the addition off. If I tear the addition off, it'll give me room to play around. So I might, should we just try ripping her down? Yeah, might as well. Let's give her the quick tug. All right, folks, time to knock down the addition. Yeehaw, brother. All right, I'm gonna sink the teeth in here. Okay. I'm trying to separate the roof from the other roof now. Yeah, close, close. It's close. Yep. All right. I'm pop. It's like this. I'm pulling the roof out from under the other roof, so it's free. So I'm gonna try to do that along the whole thing, and then we should be good. It's pretty tied in, I'll be honest. Yeah. Cause it's under. Like, yeah. They 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 roofed this thing at the exact at the same time. There's a decent chance we have some good damage on this. Popped it. Yep, yeah, popped it. I mean, I am moving the whole cabin right now, which is not good. Okay, I just about got the roof free. It's moving the whole cabin. I don't know. I got the roof about freed up. I'm nervous, dude. I don't know if it's gonna work. Huh? Alright. I got most of the roof free now. It's definitely moving the whole cabin. It's, mo it's moving the whole cabin, yeah. Yeehaw. I got, the roof is not really tied to the other part, but.
little by little. That's what I'm talking about. Beefcake demolition. That's your certain. Do you like the little, the little flick to get that last board off? Just a little. Yeah. Just a little flick, little flick of the wrist action, boys. That's why you get. That's why I bought this sucker. Right? You get, you get that done in a hurry. You gotta watch where you're walking here, but. I mean, like we were. It's crazy. We were inside there. That little beer opener thing was there, like this morning. And now, I don't. I look cabin better without it. It looks nice, but when it's. Did I not break the window? It's fine. Really? We reuse it? Reusing that window now or what? Hey Trey, how you doing? I probably gotta get rid of this tree at some point. Look at that. See, I knocked, that's how I wanted it to go, knock down each wall. I knocked out two of the three on like as their own thing. Mm -hmm. Look, no damage. None. Zero damage to the actual structure. That's what I'm saying. That's quick. That's efficient. Yeah, I literally didn't I didn't even break the freaking window. She just laid her down. Just set her, set her down. Yeah, so the roof was actually let me walk up here. You got it. The roof was, un see how it's under the other one? So initially I took my teeth, got it, and pulled. And so you can see all those screws. I pulled through it. What's going on? The old tooth went. The old tooth, yeah, yeah, right, right there. Give her the old pull. That's quick. I like that was sweet. I like that better than chainsawing every that's single nail. And yeah, that's, pry bar that's, that's, way, yeah, that's yeah. way better. So the addition's gone. She, the moldy. The moldy deal, I mean, that's, yeah, that's what we're left with. I didn't, I didn't bring the dump trailer, but what we'll probably do I'll probably, yeah, I know that septic tank's really, we're really working in tight quarters now with that septic tank, but, and this situation. Once this situation's done, I'll be all right, but we have to clean this pad. So we gotta decide, I mean, ripping up concrete is a hell of a task. Yeah. Um, it's, it looks like it looks, it's lifted up over there though, still, from the roots. Uh, that's just, I gotta get the trees moved. I gotta get this moved. I gotta get, concrete out of here the concrete's gonna be a pain for sure just because i don't have area to like move i can't like just to there is the septic i can't go over there so i'm basically the stuck here yeah break it break it all up i mean i should be able to come in here and grab slabs of it whole in, in theory i just have to figure out yeah so i gotta just i gotta get that tree over there and then this stuff i need to pile up somewhere that's not on the septic 
Just basically clean up duty. It would be if that wasn't there, we'd be in business. But yeah, I mean, look at this. Oh, that's, that went right through the boot. That was a good one. Oh, good news. Uh, yeah. See, hey, how you doing? That is the cabin now. See, so yeah, look how small the cabin is. Like, this is it. This is this is the old mogul home. This is all you got to work with. So that was the addi the addition was pretty big. I mean, now you're now you're just dealing with one of these doohickeys. So, um, little what mouse nest? Oh yeah. Yeah. See, that's why we didn't do like that. Knocked her out. Well, we'll get her cleaned up, and we'll we'll assess the concrete. We'll get her all cleaned up, assess the concrete. Uh, more than like I know, it's it's such nice concrete. Like it's like man, I feel bad. I mean, if I could get it in big enough chunks and somehow transport it, you can make a boat ramp with it. Otherwise, break it up and use that structure. I mean, concrete's concrete. You can do something with it. Um, it would be nice to leave it, but to Brad's point, we won't have a crawl space then, or a very, very, very skinny one, and be really tough to access. So, you can um, get it loose and move it out there. Just move the whole, move the whole then slab. You put a sliding glass door here for your little back patio. Just push yeah, I. Over here. Yeah, that's se it's a septic. I think that's ruining it. Yeah. I could try, just pulling the whole thing. I don't think. I don't think I don't think we have enough room. If we can get over there, we'd be fine. Which the the plumber's on his way. Hopefully he can fix it, and then maybe I don't think he's gonna backfill or what. But we'll get something done today. So let's get to cleaning. Well, there you have it, folks. The, uh, she's, need a beer? Yeah, no, that stays. We, we need a beer, celebratory beer. We didn't ruin the cabin. Brad's gonna be freaking stoked. It's less work. Um, so we made a concrete pile because we, we we had to tear up the concrete because I mean even this root's still going under. You don't want to be putting anything on top of that. Um, and we wouldn't have a crawl space. So what we'll do um, 
different at either different episode what's just gonna happen i'll fill you guys in we'll come in with the uh skid loader which is not here and once the electrical is done plumbing's done all whatever all this stuff's gonna we'll, we'll grade this whole thing so there's no point in you know using this thing and, and i i basically got it out of the way the heavy lifting i mean i was lifting up this entire thing it's strung up with rebar kind of impressed they put rebar in it to be honest because yeah, they didn't have to it wasn't was load bearing i I wouldn't have put rebar. I mean, they put rebar in that, but this whole thing leaks. What the, what's the point yeah, of that? The craziest thing too. You were moving all this. Me and Nate are looking at it like, is that rebar? Because like the excavator just yeah. like bends it like it's string. nothing. Like it's really like it's nothing. Just picking it up yeah. like it's string. Yeah. I was like, is that rebar? The only thing I could think of is, I mean, even then, it's still not load bearing. Like if that was a porch, and then they turn, you know what I mean? Like kind of that idea. But like, like I'm saying, like normally when you park a vehicle, yeah. that'll have rebar. But like in the basement in my new house, there's no oh. rebar because what's the point? You're not yeah. gonna put anything over there besides a, a human. Like nothing's gonna be heavier yeah, than that. Maybe it was. I don't so know. you know, it could have been. I, don't, I mean, that's really thick concrete too in certain places and yeah, stuff I mean, like around that. The around the edge. Where it rolled yeah. Down, it's like 12 inches. Of concrete. Yeah. So concrete pile. We'll turn that into a rock pile for the uh, lake. This is a take to the dump slash burn pile. A lot of it is insulation, so we're not gonna burn it. So we'll take it to the dump. So that's taking the dump. And then I try to get, do you like how I was able to get the trees under Underneath, under that, that was, house? I like you're, how you're doing the hammer. The, hand, the old hammer shred, the old brand new bucket. She's broken in now. Yeah, she don't she, look new anymore. If you get a new bucket, tear up concrete. That's yeah. how, that's, uh, same, same thing. Brand new excavator, rip down trees. So trees are over there. Um, we will, you know, we'll have to move them or chain, chainsaw them up or dry them and, and use them for firewood someday or something like that. Uh, but I got those kind of out of our way completely. Like I said, there's a septic here, so I couldn't do much here. And then this is, we'll just end up bringing the dump trailer someday. I do that thumb. Oh my gosh, did you see the, the, the tree? To remove trees is life changing with that thumb. I mean, I was able to pluck like the, the freaking roots and then just go set them over there. That thumb's amazing. So you come over here, you grab it, you throw it in the dump trailer, you haul it to the dump. Like I said, then we'll come back. This can just be, you know, structure perfect. That's a perfect little rock pile, just set up just like that. So we got her done. No more additions. If without, dude, without big equipment, man, that would have been a doozy. Okay, You'd been jack, jackhammering everything. I mean, even just chainsawing the walls down would have taken a fat freaking minute. We'll leave that piece for Brad. That's that, it. That, that, yeah, Brad's like, I right, dope. Additions out. See you later. So there you have it, folks. The demo. I think demolition's done. 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 There's no more. This is the, we've stripped it down. We ripped off the addition. We stripped it down to the studs. There's nothing left. We are getting the plumbing fixed and moved. The electrical is happening and then within a couple days here the framers from my house are bringing their entire crew to help us and we're hoping fingers crossed this whole new addition so you saw this first edition here it's going to run the whole way across and this whole thing huh you notice this what's that from our bathtub that's their nest all the way out to there oh yeah from where they were under the tub yeah under the tub they, they're under this entire yeah, thing i wonder what we can find in there. yeah there's there's stuff under it so that's the other thing we were going to try to seal seal this that's where you take the skid loader and just almost like backfill it fill it full of dirt and then take bigger rock like three inch rock and just put a rim uh -huh. over so they would have to dig through the rock to dig through the dirt to get under it so we'll this whole thing we will come in and freaking make like fort knox so they can't get up under this sucker we don't need any more freaking dead possums inside the cab so hope you guys enjoyed i'm glad to have big sheila back she she did what big sheila does which is make big jobs go fast which is what i'm all about so anyways hope you guys enjoyed today's beefcake construction video remember if you guys want to cop some of this beefcake construction merch it is linked down in the description down below and you're going to see the design stuff on brad the builder channel which will be linked down below and then on the main channel you'll see us do the hunting and fishing stuff if you haven't subscribed to that already so with that being said thank you guys for watching catch you next one and peace